Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. One of the questions I often get is what is the best handgun for the money? And it's a tough question to answer. It's a loaded question because there are so many options out there and everybody has their opinion on what's the best for the money. It's a subjective question and answer, but I do believe many people would go with the Canik models. And here's the TP9 Elite Subcompact. It's a great handgun. Has a tungsten gray finish, which is kind of classy looking, a nice trigger with a short reset. And people love Canik. It's optic ready, offers a lot for the money. And many of the Canik models offer a ton for the money. SAR really gained popularity the the past four or five years people took notice to it i remember the sar 9 could be picked up for 250 260 17 round mags this is the meta this is optic ready as well with a nice trigger not a great difference between the meta and the original sar 9 but the msrp on this is 530 these days so the prices have inched up a bit over time they've reached a point where they're kind of out of the budget scene here we have a taurus g3 tactical and i've said this is the best nine millimeter poly frame handgun taurus makes optic ready threaded barrel nice trigger 17 round mags cool look to it with the flat dark earth and the coyote tan cerakote slide love these three handguns but none of these would be my choice for the best handgun for the money so what is my choice well at one point you could pick up this handgun for right around 360 bucks it made its way higher with the msrp but here it is do you know what it is it's a bursa it's a full-size bursa with a four and a quarter inch barrel 17 round mags 360 dollars at that time about five years ago four or five years ago anyhow i told people you ought to check this out for the price they're asking it's a great handgun the msrp now is uh, 4.85 and it is a bursa tpr nine they make this in two-tone they make it with the the all black model and they make a smaller model but the 17 round mags comes with two it has a polymer grip vertical serrations with the front strap poly serrations with the rear but that's not even what i want to talk about the single action trigger is really nice breaks right around four pounds but check out this reset that is amazing. Now, people would say the shortest reset they've ever experienced is with the SIG SRT. It's called SRT, Short Reset Trigger. Here's my P226 ASC Alloy Stainless Elite and SRT, Short Reset Trigger. Which one is shorter? Is it the SIG or is it the Bursa? TPR9. I think, I, I don't know. It, it, it could be a draw. Check this out. That is so short. I'm, I'm giving it to the Bursa for just a little bit shorter. Is that going to make a huge difference? No, not at all. But I like the way the trigger guard is beveled out a little bit. Gives you a little more room in there. It has an alloy aluminum frame and that's why I went with this for an MSRP that's a little bit less than at least two out of the three. Has the alloy aluminum frame, two slot pick rail. It's not optic ready. If it did, that would be an added bonus in my eyes. Three dot sights, excellent feel. Ambidextrous with control, slide stop, decocker, thumb safety on both sides of the pistol. But another thing that makes this incredibly unique, and we did show clear here. Well, let me drop that thumb safety is to disassemble see that lever lever right there all you do is push it downward and off comes the slide from the frame it has full length frame rails and many people will say hey those those handguns with full length frame rails keeps everything nice and tight there's very little room to play around with and there's the four and a quarter inch barrel it is such a nice handgun to 
to shoot, to disassemble. Whoa, kind of dirty. I need to clean this thing. And to own. And then to get it back into place, all you do is flip that lever upward. So it's it's a great handgun. Now, the MSRP I mentioned is 485 And by the way, Latin American law enforcement adopted this many of them I, I know latin america like that can be a lot but many of them adopted this as their sidearm for law enforcement so they have confidence in it i don't ever recall having an issue with this handgun ever and so i find it to be extremely reliable i've owned it for four or five years now and i think that for what you get for the money it's a great deal with the alloy aluminum frame and the four and a quarter inch barrel and 217 round mags now you can pick it up for close to the msrp if you shop around you might get it for a little less it seems to me the two tones go for a little less but i am very fond of the bursa tpr9 i have since day one Loved it, and I still do to this day. And as it sits now, I think this is a great handgun for the money. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.